Hello everyone and welcome back to another world mod overview video. Today we are going to be taking a look at the Breeze of Grease mod, which was a collaboration between Nando and Sixum CC. Before we begin, I'm just going to go over all the requirements for this mod, how to install this mod, because it is a little bit different than installing other mods. And then we are going to go ahead and take a look at this new world. So this is Nando's post on Patreon. It will be linked below along with everything else that you need to download this mod. It will be linked in the video description below. So the important requirements is that you are going to need Get Together, Discover University, and Outdoor Retreat. Those are the required packs for this mod. Also, this is only available for PC users. You cannot download mods or CC if you are a console player. So I'm just going to show you guys how to download this because it is different than downloading regular CC. Um, but first, you are going to have to download Sixum CC's build by item pieces separately. So you're going to click here on Nando's post. And then you're going to scroll all the way down and you are going to download both part one and part two. And then for the mod, so you will download those and you will put those in your mods folder. Um, but first let me grab this. So you're gonna scroll all the way down. This is back to Nando's post. You're gonna scroll all the way down and you are going to decide if you want to have the residential world or the destination world. I'm using it as a residential world. Do not download both of these links, just download one. Decide what you wanna do. So click on the residential world and then you're going to go into your downloads and you are going to open the zip file for both of Sixum CC's packs and you are going to drag and drop them into your mods folder and download part two by mode and drag and drop that into your mods folder. And then you are going to click on the residential breeze of Greece folder. He has a folder in here that says mods. You are going to drag and drop that into your mods folder. Those are the mods on his end that are required for the pack. So for installation, open this up. This is the installation instructions. So you are going to need to go Go to Program Files, Origin Games, The Sims 4, Delta, GP01, Worlds and Areas. So that is, we're going to, I'm just going to copy and paste this path here. So copy and paste here. I think mine is a little bit different, but um, so then I'm going to click the Delta folder and then you go to GP01 and then you click Worlds and Areas. So we're replacing this file here. If you want to keep it as a backup so later you can change it back to Granite Falls, then I would copy and put that in a separate folder as a backup. After you do that, you are going to drag and drop this into the folder. I already have it installed, so I'm not going to do that, but that is what you will do. And you are going to also have to do this, keep these installation instructions because you're gonna have to do this anytime you repair your game or anytime you update your game. Oh, and I didn't even mention, so this world replaces Granite Falls. Obviously it is Greek inspired. It's inspired by the cliffside of the city of Santorini and it is called Sim Torini, which is super cute. It's a completely revamped world with new scenery pieces, new gameplay areas, whilst maintaining some of Outdoor Retreat's features. And then also this mod does not come with new packs, meaning you'll have to manually remove, replace the lots from Granite Falls to get the full experience. The name of this world is still going to appear as Granite Falls. However, there are tutorials on how to change that manually for each save on YouTube. So when you open your game, you will see here that this is the icon for Sim Torini. It is still going to say Granite Falls, but there is a mod if you do want to change the name. I personally don't mind. Um, and I already have a Sim vacationing here, um, but I I will just go ahead and show you the world map. So this is the world map for Sim Torini. As you can see, I have already placed some lots here, but because I already have my Sim, can I just play them from here? I can, yes. So once you're in game, you will see the world of Granite Falls has been transformed into Sim Torini. And as mentioned before, the lots do not come with this mod, but I will link the lots, the name and the creator of the lots that I did download in the video description below. But look how gorgeous this is, it's stunning. Here, let me turn on reshade just to like see it. It's already beautiful, but like just to make it pop a little bit more, it's stunning. It does mention in the post that they did keep a bit of Granite Falls's atmosphere. So I see like a bit of the trees still here. So this is the main area in Granite Falls where we are. They are staying at the rental lot at the 50 by 50 at the top. Um, but here is where like all the liveliness is. So they're currently at a spa. But what's been added here is so we have a stage. So I'm assuming at certain times during the day that there will be some people performing on stage here, which is really cool that this 
this was added because there's just more to do here. There's also food stands here. So when food vendors arrive, they can be here. There's these stalls. So there can be like a little marketplace, vendors for the marketplace here. And there's like little places to eat. This is so pretty, this is adorable. And then it doesn't look like that's interactable, but as soon as vendors come here, I'm assuming that you can get some food. And then there's also this beach area over here, which is so cute and so neat. Of course, in Granite Falls, because EA hasn't let us swim in any of the worlds that were here before the update where you could swim in the world. <laughs> so like Granite Falls, we're still not able to swim in, unfortunately. I really hope that they let us swim in all of the worlds soon, um, but we can sunbathe. Sunbathe and swim where, okay. This is just, gorgeous and of course there are um the new cc pack by 6mcc that was made for this mod but if you go into build mode here i wonder what we can see so i'm not a builder i but i'm excited to see what everyone else does with this um but i'm not a builder but you can go let's see uh if we just type in breeze sim okay so sim i wonder if we could just type in sim Terini. but we have ooh. okay so these are the items i'm just i know this isn't an empty lot and i'm just kind of crowding things on top of each other but um we have these here here, and then let's see what else is there. Sim, Torini, um, I love windows. So there's windows. So lots of, yeah, lots of build items. Oh, this is so, so gorgeous. I'm not gonna show everything. I just wanna show a few things. We have this love seat, which is very, very pretty. Um, and I love the swatches that this comes into. There is, I please excuse this. I don't know why there's a nude Sim. I, just ignore that. Um, Sim, Torini, <laughs> stone archway. I love archway so much. So yes, the pack is required. The pack by 6MCC is required to download to get this mod. But just in general, I would love to see it, what people build with this. If you build anything using the CC items here, please comment below and let me know. I would love to see. Oh yeah, okay. And then this is what's on top of most of the buildings. But yeah, I just wanted to show some of the CC that came with this pack. But then like, if we take a look over here too, so this is not an area you can go into, but like, look at how gorgeous this is. This is absolutely stunning. I am so in love with this. And I, I love that Nando has added things for us to do, like the, the food stalls and the stage and all of that. Um, oh, these are really pretty. I'm in love with these. Grill, you can grill things here. And there's some like throughout the world area here. So we have one here, one here. I think there's one by the beach, if I believe too. Yes, there's one by the beach and they're sunbathing. This is just so nice. This is so relaxing. Let's actually have them. I, I have no idea if, if John cooks, but we're going to find out. Um, let's have them grill over here. They can cook something and then they can have a seat and enjoy a nice, is it lunchtime? Yes, lunch. They can enjoy a nice lunch over here. I'll have Genevieve come here. They can sit together, enjoy their lunch. And yeah, so I mean, this area, I always like setting it up with like a restaurant, a bar, a spa usually. And then of course, some of the rental lots just so there's other things to do here but of course you can just like hang out in this little area you can stargaze you can cloud gaze so i'm probably going to in my game like i'll keep this as a destination world and i'll probably switch it out between because i do have my sims go to granite falls occasionally but i'll probably switch it out between sim torini and between granite falls but let me know if you guys download this tell me what you think of it i think this is stunning i love the world mod that nando comes out with and i'll also link below he's done other world mods um, and I've done videos on them. So I will link them below if you would like to see the other ones that he's done if you were not familiar. But I think we're gonna go ahead and end this video here. Definitely comment below what you all think of this mod. I am excited to be able to have my Sims visit here more. And also this is my last video of 2021. So I just wanna say to all of my viewers that I hope you all had a happy holiday and that you all have a wonderful new year and I will see you all in 2022. Bye.